What was your final CGPA when you got it? Oh, 6.6. 6.6 out of what? 7.0. 6.6 out of 7.6. Yeah, wow. So I usually ask this question Do you have two heads? 6.6 <laughs> out of 7. Well, absolutely not. I mean, you can see me here. Yeah, let's look. Let's look. <laughs> it's not enough with the book. I mean, I always tell people when you are writing your CV, uh -huh. the CDPA thing will just take one line. That's yeah, all. That's all. Yeah. So if you don't engage yourself with other things for personal development and all, there were several times that, I mean, it was always crazy, like I said. I would just come to KDL. There were days I spent like two days, three days without leaving KDL at all. In, inside it? Yes. How will if you... I only leave, I would just go to the cafeteria to okay, eat please. and I'll be back. Oh. And you ask me if I shower then... or not. Don't even ask. <laughs> but, <laughs> no one cares. I was at the end of the day, horrible. all this, all this sacrifices and everything you did culminated in your first class. I, I, I forgot to mention, I was always taking some things that probably many people won't approve of. I was always taking monster drink, energy. Yeah, you always take it energy drink. It's not easy because, I mean, during the day, you are already tired mm -hmm. and I was always reading overnight. During okay. the day, you're already tired. Even when you don't have a tired some day, at night, you normal know, nature calls and mm -hmm. also you want to, you're tired and you still want to force your brain to work. So you have to boost the energy. So I want to read for both and apply for a um, doctoral um, degree. PhD in a history. PhD? Yes, I'm trying to... You, are you to... skipping the master's level? or yes. you, you want to... Oh, you can skip the master's yes, level? Yes, you can. You can. Why, why do you want to skip the master's level? I mean, who wouldn't want to if there's the option of mm, a PhD? Okay. It's just you have to read that, that get higher grades. And mm, so you're not going to it. do a master's at all? No, no. So you're just master's. going to... The next thing is you've done this. A PhD. Yes. So you, you want a life in academia? So if I if I ask you now, you don't ask OEU, they have great fair great. What what does UI have? Uh of the greatest UI. Of the great, of the greatest UI. 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 Yes, we are referred to as UI. UI. Yes. That's the first time I'm hearing that. I never used to think about it, but oh, OEU, it's OEU, 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 I have just I have siblings that went to IFE. Okay. So they would never allow you here one. Any great UI. Yes, great IFE. Oh, ours is UI. Oh good. So it's great UI. Yes. So if I say great UI, how are you how of the greatest UI. Okay. Of the greatest UI. Great. Of the great greatest UI. UI is of great. the great <laughs> greatest UI. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm speaking to Martins Israel. Isaac. Martins or Israel? Martins Isaac. Martins Isaac, pardon yes. me. Martins Isaac. What's the son of Martins Isaac Olusoya. Well, Martin is a first class graduate from the University of Ibadan, where we are presently. So, Martins, again, thank you very much for speaking yeah. with me. Thank you for having me. So, we, we came all the way from Lagos just to speak to this gentleman i can see the way he's dressed oh, he's Jesus. prepared <laughs> he's prepared for this so usually we celebrate first class graduates you know we tell their stories how they got how they managed to achieve such a stellar result and i always say it anytime that if i had a first class my shoulder would be like this <laughs> as in if you want to address me put first class at the back of my name because you don't know how what i did to get like grammy winner as, do you understand <laughs> do you understand so once again Matthews, thank you very much for speaking with me yeah so, so let me ask now, first of all, why UI? Why did you decide to come here? Um, okay, during my secondary school days, I'm this kind of person that I've been um, adept with using the internet. Okay. So I was always on the Google, um, searching for top 10, maybe top 10 musician, most richest days. <laughs> okay, the, okay. So I used to check on universities too. Okay. So at the point, it was always my um, mobile family at University, and that was where I wanted to go. Until the time that I even wrote my um, why heck? Okay. So at the time I was going to fill in for jam, UI was the best. Oh. According yeah. to rankings, um, <laughs> like times. So I I always wanted the best for myself. So okay. that's why I just decided That's to why you just it. came to UI. Yes, that's why I came. I, to it's UI. interesting because you said you googled best schools. Yes, I I do that frequently. Frequently, wow. That's that's interesting because when we wrote jam, there were schools that were available. Oh. Uh, you, you know they wow. they used to have cut off marks. They'd be like, okay, yeah. you have two hundred. Ah, you are the bar two hundred. Oh. Yeah, try, I do it, kitty. I tried being uh, that thing. So you hearing that you it was through the internet and everything it makes it very, very impressive. So let's do a quick rundown of the years you spent in school. First of all, what course did you study? I studied history. History? Yes. So I actually applied in for law. Okay. Um I fell short of the cutoff by one mark. Okay. And by one mark, like yes, number one. Mark. one yes, just what one was mark. the number? The cutoff was seventy four. Okay. But then I got seventy three. Yeah, so I... That's enough for you to hate everybody in the law department. 
Well, uh, on the contrary, the, most of my friends are actually from the faculty of law. Yes. I mean, the intelligent guys, and I love to move with people who are sound. And you can always interact with them again and all of that. So when it was time to change, I decided to. I saw the options and. In my secondary school, there was no history actually. Oh, okay. It was just on the timetable, but we, there was no teacher, no teacher throughout. Okay. So I was curious about okay, what is it, what exactly is about history? So I decided to opt in for history. So in my hundred level, I was told I could always cross the law when I oh, get to hundred yes, level. Oh yes, they tell everybody that. Yeah, and actually there was the chance to cross the law. Okay. Three of my classmates when we were in hundred level eventually crossed the law. Okay. But I was no longer interested in crossing the mm. law because. The passion for law was no longer there. The reason I wanted to do law, I felt it was not going to be feasible. I would just be chasing a, um, something that is not going to be realistic. So mm -hmm. I decided to divert my attention. And, That's a history. And so far, you have no regrets. You're okay at all. At all. At all. <laughs> That's, at all. That's, That's That's nice. Okay, so. What was your final CGPA when you got Oh, 6.6. 6.6 out of what? 7.0. 6.6 out of 7.0? Yeah, 6.6. Wow. So I usually ask this question, do you have two heads? 6.6 <laughs> out of 7. Well, absolutely not. I mean, you can see me here. I'm let's just... look. Let's look. 6.6 <laughs> 6. 6. out of 6. 7. I even don't tell myself I probably would have done better if I didn't engage myself in so much extracurricular activities. But I'm glad I did anyways mm. because it's not enough with the book. I mean, I always tell people, when you are writing your CV, mm -hmm. the CGPA thing will just take one line. That's yeah, all. That's all. Yeah. So if you don't engage yourself with other things for personal development and all. Of it's... course, of course. You know, Richard, what you said just reminded me. There was, there's been this debate trending on social media, you know, about leaving school with a good grade. Yeah. Like with the first class, second class, even mm -hmm. the third class. You know, most people, are, nowadays, most people have the opinion that having a third class is... It's just, these things are just numbers. Mm -hmm. That most people that are succeeding in life, they usually don't even ask for what they came out with. But then there's another school of thought and people saying it's not true. Especially if you want to work here, mm -hmm. in this part of the world, they'll first look at the, your grade, as the first, mm -hmm. second. So people with third class usually have it harder. Yes. Do you understand? So that's back to the fact that you do have to work hard, try as much as possible to get mm -hmm. a good grade. So let's talk about these extra curricular activities that yes. you mentioned. Uh, you were showing me your office. <laughs> yes. Why? Why we were coming to this place? Yes. So talk to me about the extra curricular activities. Um, okay, this was how it started actually, in Andre level. Okay. So my first semester, it was just all about the books. I had nothing. I wasn't really the social type actually. So <laughs> when we resumed to Andre, um, second semester Andre level, mm -hmm. I was coming home. I took a cab, but then the cab man didn't stop at a particular car park to pick people okay. it was by the roadside okay. so later at, the, at first at, i was actually scared like you picked me and then you just kicked <laughs> off like what's going on and then i decided to ask him then he said the reason why i couldn't do that was because at car parks he always has to pay oh okay yes and he said he pays in the morning in the afternoon in the evening mm -hmm. and at every car park and he said even police officers collect their own and he was showing me a particular police officer that man was counting what's of hundred naira notes wow so it was like, at the end of the day, what is always left is not enough. Mm -hmm. So that was why he tries to evade the Those car park stands. So when I got back to school, we didn't resume lectures immediately. There was, it was not even until two weeks after that we resumed lectures. So I was just idle and then, okay, what can I do? I just remembered the conversation I had mm -hmm. with that man. Then I decided to write. So when I wrote that, I put it out to WhatsApp pages and then the reception he got was encouraging. Okay. So I felt, okay, let me do this thing again. And then I started writing. Started writing. And so I, I can guess that you worked in the press, yes. uh, campus, journalism. Yes. Okay. So I rose through the ranks. So um, <coughs> sometime late um, second semester, okay, we were already done. Mm -hmm. And then there was a sitting at this um, student representative council where okay. the president was suspended. So there were rumors flying around. I was like, none of these things are actually true. Mm -hmm. So that's encouraged me to write okay what actually went i wrote like four different parts <laughs> okay. and that went out of proportion and i felt okay maybe this is actually something i'm actually good with so second mm -hmm. semester i'm um, 200 level something happened and then i needed to like divert my attention away and just okay. keep myself occupied so i joined afas press the faculty of arts um press okay then after i joined them i joined um indie press too but then i moved out because i wanted to do politics I'm more interested in writing, criticizing, like analyzing and stuff like that. And then he wanted me to be doing sports. And I'm like, sports, people watch TV, they can go and do it. <laughs> but that's not what you wanted that's to cover. I wanted, you wanted to, to cover, wanted to cover something real, okay. exactly. Something no, not too many people know, actually. <clears throat> so I was kicked out because I was not turning up for sports. 
I mean, I love sports. I watch football like regularly. I'm a Manchester United fan, Manchester but I wasn't ready United to do fan. that. <laughs> okay. So I wasn't ready to do that. Okay. So um, eventually, when the guy now, okay, the editor in chief of the Press is a member of the faculty. Mm -hmm. So he passes by, he reads me on the board. It was not like wow. It was not that I came back to me. Wanted me to come back to Indie Press. Okay. After a bit of lobbying, I eventually joined. Then I joined UCJ. Though I was not inducted yet, then but because I was writing frequently, mm -hmm. then the editor in chief just contacted me. I mean, I was still in the hundred level. I didn't really know anything, and then he said he would love me to be on this, to be the editor of the politics desk. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow. He said he's going to put me on trial, mm -hmm. and then he put me on trial. I wrote a whole number of things bordering on politics, even in Nigeria, <coughs> and he was okay. he was impressed. Yes, after TV um, articles, then I became the political editor. Wow. And. History Press to called me, they wanted me to be the deputy editor in chief. And it just so you kept just, coming. It just kept coming and you were. Uh, yes. so, so I think you need to explain a couple of what you said. Because you're talking as if people, that, me, I you said ECG, I just stood in my head like I knew what you were saying. <laughs> but you said Indie Press, I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so first okay. of all, what is Indie Press? Indie Press, okay, Indie Press is like short for Independence or Press. Okay. Indie Hall is um, a male hostel, okay. I think the largest in the university, mm -hmm. which was where I belong to. Okay. And then, like I said, AFAS is Association of Faculty of Arts. Right. Okay. Then UCD is the Union of Campus Journalists, the umbrella body that of all... caters for the entirety of the school, including okay. UCH. Okay. It covers both UI and UCH. Oh, okay, so, okay. Yes. So, what you're saying is you've always been interested in the media. Yes. And uh, even though you took, you just started writing and then the interest grew. Yeah. You understand? So, you combined, so how were you able to combine both of them? And you still came out with a the, with the top, the top degree. How were you able to combine both um, extracurricular and your studies? Um... Okay, here is it actually. I mean, it's it's actually ironic if I tell you that I read more in my 100 level than, like, as I progress, mm -hmm. my reading reduced, but then my CGP actually increased. Increased. Okay, yes. no, before you even continue, let, let's do a rundown. 100 level, what was your CGP? 6.2. 6.2. Yes. And this was when you were just reading, you didn't have any as That much. was the only thing I was saying. In fact, I entered the reading room to read starting from third to sixth week. Oh, I'm wow. writing the reading room to start. Oh, the reading room was on my floor, so it was easier. Oh, so you guys have what is called the reading room? Yes, we have reading room. No, your, your own Mail rooms. Mail hostels do that, yes, reading room. Especially Indian and Z call, I don't know of, but I think others to do. So, like, it's just a room for reading? Yes, just for reading. Oh, wow, They're just tables and chairs. Oh, okay. Yes. So, 100 level, you were just there reading? Always. Always. Then 200 level. So and your, level, 100 level, your CGP was 6.2. 6 6 6 2. 200 2. level. 200 level, my CGPA was, I think, 6.4. 6.4. .4. This yes, was 6 .4. when you started campus journalism. Exactly, when I started getting... It wasn't even just campus journalism. I joined the L&D to Literary and Debating Society. Oh, wow. Okay. Because in my secondary school, we used to have L&D every Thursday. Mm -hmm. And then there was a time... Can I, can, can I tell the story? Please continue. Oh, okay. So there was this time, um, the they just tried to switch things up. And then they said there should be a debate okay. between... <clears throat> um, I was in SS2, I think, between SS2 and SS1, mm -hmm. boys are better than girls, as cheap as it was. <laughs> I mean, I can, even at that time, I could like roll off probably 100 points and <laughs> yeah. all of that. But then I was always crowd shy. Okay. So because of that, I stubbornly refused. I was the senior boy already mm. then in SS2, Anglican Grammar School, Moliteye. So I stubbornly refused and that cost me because eventually when there was this cowboy competition, I think two other competitions, I was a senior boy, but it was my assistant that was that nominated. Was, oh, okay, okay, and okay. The senior guest, so I was always at home. <laughs> they would always go, and so I felt it like, no, I really need to actually push mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. And so, if there's any way you actually have to like know how to um, combat stage fright, um, being crowd shy, and or it's the L and D because there's That's something we call you have to face the crowd exactly. and talk, and your point needs to be. And there's open. something we call jaw war here in the University of Ibadan. It's a very popular um, debate con competition. Jaw war. Jaw war. Okay. Yes, J A W. Like your jaw. Oh, your jaw. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's always the most anticipated, actually. Like mm -hmm. when you come here in under level, it's always something you hear about. You mm -hmm. definitely want to be part of it. So L and D takes you there, mm -hmm. and. Some of the top guys, they always travel in and outside mm -hmm. of the country to represent the school, okay. engaging in all these debates. So I just wanted to, mine was just, I just wanted to combat mm -hmm. um, stage fright because I mean, if you want to go far in life, you definitely meet people you have, of course. have you to have address to crowds. Yes, yes. So I joined the L&D and then I spoke at Jawa once. Though, of course, I was told that my performance was good, but I shot my eyes throughout the time I was talking. You sh <laughs> I shot my eyes throughout. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, I mean, after that time, I wasn't having time again to actually mm -hmm. continue, but then even at um, UCJ, 
we had events where there were multitudes of people, 700 to 1,000 and all. And I was always able to now confidently, sometimes I didn't even sound so official, I just... No, okay. It's, it now became a part of me. So okay, I so I, I like the fact that you went back in history and brought how well, everything worked for you. I'm a historian. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like that. So, so 200 level, you're so 6.4. 200 level, yes, 6.4. So 300 level. 300 level. By the time I would be done with 300 level, it was 6.6. 6.6. 6.6. And I, I, I assume by that time you had already be you already fully involved in in fact i was always having to start classes at all <laughs> I, was, uh, okay. I was i was editor in chief of ucd i was always having there's something we, um when you want to contest for political offices in ui mm. department faculty all level there's what we call the press night the press will evaluate you ahead of time mm -hmm. present you to the um public to vote so they always invite um um, prominent pressmen okay. sit on the panel, assess these people. I was always invited, <laughs> faculties, departments, and all. So, and then there were all these series of meetings. Campus journalism in UI is very, very tedious, actually. Oh, really? Yes, it's. I know a lot of people that it cost the SDGP. These people are actually like very bright, but then they decide, okay, it's journalism they want to do. And it, it can cost you as much as maybe from 6 point whatever to 4 point something. But it didn't cost you. Yes, didn't. yes, because I was so, determined. I'm interested, to, you were, uh, apart from the fact that I'm interested in how you were able to make sure to keep your grades at that level because you were 6.4 in 200 level yes. 300 level it had increased to 6.6 6. yes. okay so how did you how did you do it? give me practical examples now okay um what i always did was this there will always be the meetings mm -hmm. there will always be the invitations conferences okay. and all but i was always conscious of when it was time for reading mm. Like, because, like, I mean, like the Bible will say there's time for everything, the time to gather stone and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Now, I, whenever exams are looming, for example, 300 level, there was even an exam I was about to write, and then I wrote a story okay. about how uh, Delabu <coughs> came to you, I shared two million era amongst all, mm -hmm. all representatives and us on campus, eight us, and how it was mismanaged by some of the archers and all. Oh. And I got threatened by someone who had graduated. I think two people who had graduated and were um, core people in the story I wrote. So, and it was around the time I was preparing for exams. So, I mean, mm. I was even mentally disturbed. But what I just always did was, I was always in the library. Here. I stopped staying in my hostel because anytime I get tired, the next thing I want to do is try just to relax. relax and, and, and then before you know it, uh -huh, it's all mm -hmm. gone. But then if I'm here in the um, KDL library, there's nowhere to relax. Mm. So, and then seeing people around you reading, I'll just tell myself, no, I was sent to school with this people as well. <laughs> So basically, your own, your own uh, style was, anytime you felt tired or you wanted to relax, you just go, you went to an environment where... It will force me. It will force actually, you to leave. Yes, That's interesting. That's why if you're watching, start jotting down points. <laughs> you understand? So, okay. So, two or 300 level, it had gone to a 6.6. .6. Yes. So, 400 level. 400 level was crazy, actually, like very crazy. Okay. In the sense that there are times I even had to write letters to the department that I will be away for a week. Oh. I traveled a lot because I was president then, okay. and the union president was not of the, of, of the union of campus journalists. Okay, okay. The union was not um, where it ought to be financially. You know, there's little you can do if there's actually mm -hmm. no finance to run things. So I, I always had to travel, seek sponsors, reach out to alumni. We had a lot of events, and then even I missed that. I still went for this Babcock Model International United Nations at oh, wow. um, Babcock University. Okay. I was sick when I even went, and I, because we just finished an event that mm -hmm. lasted a week, mm -hmm. where we brought about all the alumni from 1987 together to okay. Okay. let's talk and all okay. and see how we can drive the union forward. So when I went to Babcock, I was very tired and all, but I mean, it's international, it, it's mm -hmm. interrelations. We are trying to model the United Nations. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm a historian, and I'm, mm -hmm. so it was easier for me. And okay. then I still came with the prize, and then I got an award. I was honorable mention for the Security Council where I represented Poland. Okay. So when I came back, there were three tests in that week. I just knew that immediately I came back, I shot <coughs> out from every other every extra other curricula and just focus on the books. Okay. So by the time I was done with my test, I went back to my extracurricular. <laughs> so that was just what I did. And there were several times that, I mean, it was always crazy, like I said. I would just come to KDL. There were days I spent like two days, three days without leaving KDL at all. In, inside it? Yes. How if you? I only leave, I would just go to the cafeteria to okay, eat, eat and I'll be back. Oh. And you ask me if I shower or not, don't even ask. <laughs> but, <I> mean, no <laughs> one cares. I was at the end of the day, horrible. all this, all this, sacrifices and everything you did 
culminated in your first class. Yes. Because, because I need you to repeat that part where you say sometimes you spend two, three days yes, in the library. Yes. You sleep there, you're not going anywhere. Let me tell you how it happened. I was going to have back-to-back -back exams. Okay. Like, I think one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And I, I was not prepared for them because it was like, activities leading up to that mm -hmm. were like, it was very, very bad. So on Sunday, I used to attend IVCU. Okay. IVCU, What's but IVC? no, Varsity Christian um, Union, I okay. think. It's always 2.30 p.m. But then, because I wanted to read, I decided to go to um, Nipah Life Campus Fellowship, mm -hmm. which, is, which was in the morning. So I was done with service by 11. I went to eat, dress, and then I came to KDI by 12, 1 o'clock. Okay. And I read from that time to Monday, from Monday, the late time I ever leave. From 12 in the afternoon? Yes. On a Sunday? Yes. Okay. I'll read from that time till Monday. Then from Monday, I'll just, I love eating at Zik all year. Their food is um, superb. But then I'll just eat, then go back, continue to Tuesday. From there, I went to write my exam. And then I went back to KDL. Immediately after the exam, I went back to KDL, continued. And then when I day when I was done with the exam that day, the next exam was supposed to be maybe Friday or something. I went to my hostel, take a shower, mm -hmm. then I came back again. So you didn't shower for all those people. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, no wow. Cares. In the end of the Exactly, nobody cares, just come up with the result. But so this is it's very eye-opening to see that you did actually the dedication you showed to your studies. So now I understand why you have a first class. <laughs> No, 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 because honestly, for you to stay in the library for two, three days, no shower, you just go out, eat, come back, all because... Yeah. I mean, I, I, I forgot to mention, I was always taking some things that probably many people won't approve of. I was always taking Monster drink, energy, yeah. You're always taking energy drink. It's not easy, because, I mean, during the day, you are already tired, mm -hmm. and I was always reading overnight. Okay. During the day, you're already tired. Even when you don't have a tired someday, at night, normal nature calls, and mm -hmm. also, you want to, you're tired, and you still want to force your brain to work. So you have to boost the energy. Oh, okay. And sometimes when I'm having headache, I'm always having headache. If I, I stop going to Jedi because they will give you drowsy drugs. Mm -hmm. Drugs that will make you go and sleep. Because they already know that it's because you're overworking yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would always just pour myself water, take Panadol extra, and then I'm back to You take Panadol and make you with energy drink? No, I take energy drink separately. Separately? Yes, when the sleep is starting to come, I take Panadol for the headache. For the headache? Yes. But when the sleep is starting to come, you take yes. the energy drink and yes. Yes. Wow. wow. Or sometimes that? just divert myself, try to watch a short movie, maybe 25 minutes, 30 minutes. I do that because reading on a long stretch is actually, I don't know, for me it's not, it's not possible. Okay. But then I just ensure that I stay on track. Okay, so 300 level, 6.6, 400 level, what was the GPA then? 6.6. 6.6. Yes. So was that the final year you had one, 500 level? No, 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 that was that the was final. That was the final year? Yes. So at the end of the day, you never fell from 6 points? No. You never at fell all. from 6 points? And you did it by all the combination of all these things that you just mentioned now? Yes. Interesting. So if you want to get the first class in UI, KDL library, right? KDL, Kennedy K Library. It's Kennedy K Library. Kennedy K Library. So all you need to do Spend like two or three days <laughs> in Kennedy K Library. Don't go and say you want to go and eat. If you want to go and eat here, you go. Come back. Don't go to the hostel. Just stay there and you will, you will have this. So out of all the things, I'm not hearing you talk about your social life. My social life, uh, you see, that's the thing actually, like sacrifices. Mm. I think um, I, I, I tried as much as possible as well not to get too much involved in the department because of um, I don't just want to get myself involved in things that might probably consume me. Okay. So when it comes to dinners, even outside of that, I mean, <coughs> faculty is there, yeah, yeah. all is there. Dinners, all week, faculty week, departmental week, all these things. You never, you were not no. interested? The only thing, the only time I ever attended any was on level. So ever since so then, no. You, I you, you never went for dinners, things. you never went for, no. you never went for dates as well? Dates, I yes. mean, you mean with a female? Of course. <laughs> Oh no, I, I yeah, I, I did. You I did? did? Yes, I So did you have a girlfriend all the spirit? No. No, because I know she would have come to drag you from that kid. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't so, Oh, you, you, you were not just interested in any of those things? You just wanted... Yeah, because, I mean, time is... You have just 24 hours, actually, mm. in a day. And it's what you do with it that matters, actually. I, I'm always timing myself. Okay. So I'm always knowing the exact amount of time I need for something. Mm -hmm. So if I know that this part, okay, there was there was a time I went for a press night and then I scrutinized a particular lady okay. and then I think a week later we met 
in the cafeteria and then she reminded me I put her on the hot spot mm -hmm. and all and I was just like, oh, I'm so sorry, I was just doing my job and she was like, hey, it's fine, it's fine. And after that time we clicked, I think two days or three days after we met and all of that. And after that time, I had a six unit course okay. coming up where you can't research anything on the internet for it. All you need to do is read books mm -hmm. and you're like, six to eight books you have to read for it. I eventually had the seven points in it, oh, okay. which is like the peak results you can have. But immediately after I met this lady, she wanted us, I mean, you have to keep communication, mm -hmm. but I didn't know. So what you're telling me is you left the fine gate to go and read the book. <laughs> I just had to, I just had to. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't something serious, so I just it could have had been. to. It could have been, from what you're saying, it looks like this lady was interested. And probably she wanted to learn from, you know, the great Martin. It's always a problem, actually. <laughs> but I knew better than to commit myself to anything. Oh. It was just always. It was just always. So it's one of those things. So yeah, stay away from things. the ladies who want to get the first class. I know you can actually have, you can actually have and still get the first class. Uh -huh. I know people will do, of course. Oh, okay, okay. It's just UCJ. And then, of course, I still try to go to church mm. whenever I'm able to. UCJ, church, and then academics. I mean, several times, even some of my classmates complain about me not coming to classes. Mm. There, was a time, there were times lecturers even get angry. I'm just grateful to the department, at least they didn't sanction me for it. <laughs> so, having that and still trying to like go social, I don't know if there's anyone that can do that. Oh, okay. Know. So, what's your plan now after school? Um, what my plan is actually, should I say in motion already? Because this April, I'm going to start to read. I'm starting to read for GRE. GRE. What's the GRE? GRE. That's the, oh, okay. And then TOEFL. Okay. So I want to read for both and apply for a um, doctoral um, degree, PhD in oh, history. PhD? Yes, I'm trying to. You, are you skipping the master's level? Or yes. You, you want to, oh, you can skip the master's yes, level? Yes, you can. You can. Why, why do you want to skip the master's level? I mean, who wouldn't want to if there's the option of a PhD? Okay. It's just you have to read that, uh, get higher grades. And, Mm. So you're not going to do a master's at all? No, no, no. So you're just going to, the next thing is, you've done this, a PhD. Yes. So you, you want a life in academia? Um, that is, that is something many people actually want. When I mean many people, people are like mentors who are like trying to guide me and all of that, but I'm not sure. I, I like, I like adventures. Mm. Moving around, yeah, and I don't think academia allows you to oh, okay. very well. Except if you don't want to be effective in class, and I don't want to be like some of the lecturers I criticize, who focus so much on their research than students. Yeah, students. There are lecturers like that, they would just come the first week, and then after that, you don't see them until maybe eight week or night week mm -hmm, yeah. when you are coming close to exam period. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like that. So I don't like to be efficient, uh, um, non efficient, or non effective. So I'll just do something I love doing. Something you love doing. Oh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Martins doesn't want to do a master's. And I, from, he has the ability and everything, the PhD straight. That's very impressive. Uh, thank you. That's, that's very impressive. So, but you're not, you do, do you want to do it in Nigeria? You want to <laughs> Definitely not. No, if you... Uh, uh, this is uh, a great school. No. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not going to like it. <laughs> you're done with you. I'm done. You're done with you. Okay, uh, so Martins, I wish I had a lot more time, but you, you've given me more than I even expected. And I'm sure people that are going to be watching this as well are going to, they're going to be inspired, you know, by, by everything. You know, back to, for me, schooling, when I was in school and everything, I didn't even know. 100 level, I had no idea on how GPA, all these things were calculated. It was just fun all the way. It was in 200 level that we began to know that Omaha. Oh, there's something, this is going to affect first class and everything. Mm -hmm. And we are always chasing women. <laughs> always chasing. I mean, you're a fine man now, so <laughs> even if you don't chase them, they will come for you. It's happy. It's happy. Okay, so I'd like you to speak to those who want to achieve the same grade like you did, who want to get to first class. You understand? Because experience is the best teacher, no matter how you think about it. Experience is the best teacher. So I want you to tell them as, as, as short as possible how they can achieve it and what they need to do. Just advise them. Okay, um, I'm actually look not. At the, look at the camera. Just oh. mm -hmm. All right, so um, I don't know. The first thing is you actually need to know what works for you. Okay. That's just actually the fundamental. I know time when I'm able to read and when I'm not able to actually. Because there are times when I'm not able to read. That time when I'm not able to read, I already know what's the probable cause. It's either because I'm not eating, so immediately I rush down to eat. I mean, I'll be having a headache. There are times, I'll, a page, that I'm supposed to read in just 30 minutes, assimilate and be able to recount. Mm -hmm. I can spend like five hours on it and I'm not able to. So I immediately know that, okay, no, something is wrong, then I try to take care of myself. And not everyone can read long stretches, so don't try to do what you know you're not able to. And try to actually, I think one thing that is very important, try to identify those that are like high flyers. 
mm -hmm. and try to roam with them. In Andre level, I used to say this everywhere I go. I met two friends, one in law, one in economics. Okay. We met in the um, reading room. And there was a particular day I entered the reading room. I met the guy in economics. He was reading five hours after. This guy was still reading, and me, I was not assimilating fast again. I was like, no, I'm not going to leave this reading room until this guy leaves. Because <laughs> I met him here, there's no way I'm going to leave before him. Okay. I kept reading for another two hours. This guy was still there. I told myself, okay, Martins, time to go, because I was no longer picking anything. <laughs> I was no longer picking anything. So, okay. that was, because so, someone like that, when we resumed the next, sem next semester, third week, I already resumed. I was like, ah, guy, how far now? We just entered this thing, it's like he has a lot to do and all of that. I tell myself, no, they sent us to school together. <laughs> so because of that, so we talk once in a while. So the kind of friends I have, not like you don't room with others. You do, oh. of course, but you have to put yourself in that circle. When you put yourself there, you'll be able to like push each other, actually. So, and then you always have to read. That's just it. You read and read smart. Like I said, my reading reduced from 100 level to 400, but I started reading smart. I knew what each lecturer wanted, and I was always giving it to them in the exam. In the exam. So yes. that's what you mean by reading smart. It's not just yes. reading the whole textbook. Exactly. Without... No. Okay. You need to be able to like predict what does the lecturer wants, what are the things he likes. I mean, you get this from the classrooms. So after that, in 100 level, after in six history courses, I only had one seven point. Oh. Okay. Yes. But in 200 level, I think out of nine, I had six, and then. 300 level when we had 11, I had 9, 7 oh, wow. points. So it's just, I tailor my answers to each of the lecturers and all, and I was always like being very precise, learning from my mistakes and improving on it. So you just read, 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 and read. I still and read for, for women too. Focus you can actually have women. <laughs> not like I stayed away completely. Oh, no, my, that's not what he just said. To, that's not what he, okay, so Matthew, thank you very much. Uh, I, I do hope that we're going to keep in touch, and I hope that in future, when we get to speak again, the doctor would have been attached to your name. Amen. I will say Dr. <laughs> Martins. Isaac. Isaac. What's the surname again? Olusoya. Olusoya. That would be interesting. That would be really interesting. Matthew, yeah. thank you very much. Yes, thank you I so much. I wish you the very best, and um, good luck. Yeah, thank you very good much. Luck.